Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. So as you probably all know by now, official Android 10 came out on Asus's uh, website. So that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be installing it and seeing if it's pretty good or not. So download this boy and then plug it, then copy it over to your phone into your in internal storage. So when you plug in your phone, you should see internal storage and then just paste it directly in here in the root pretty much. So you should see like your downloads folder, your images and stuff like that. So once that's done, uh, we actually need to get rid of TWRP. If you don't have TWRP installed, uh, you should be good to go. But since I do, I'm going to get rid of it. And before I do that, I will also disable all the Magisk modules. Let's go into the modules folder. And I only have two, so just tick those. And then we can reboot to uh, bootloader. So once we're inside here, we'll need to flash uh, the stock boot image. So I'll have a link to that in the description. Uh, make sure you're on Android 9, 19.10.64, so basically this version. Then I'll just open the terminal here. Or if you're using Windows, just open, right click and then open CMD prompt right here. And then first we'll see if the phone is recognized. So, and yeah, there we go. So now we can boot into or we can flash boot and then the boot image. And then we will just reboot back into the bootloader. So right now we're back inside the bootloader again. And this time we will uh, install Magisk since we want to keep root. So find out where your Magisk is. So I have it here and we'll be installing this using uh, TWRP. So And since we're using Pi, we will need to use this one here. I'll make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. So sudo fastboot boot the Pi version. And make sure you have Magisk copied over on your phone. All right, so once we're in, you can just type in your password and then install Magisk. Swipe to flash. So what this will do is it will back up the boot image, which we will need for later to basically uninstall Magisk and then run the Android 10 installer and then install Magisk again after that's finished. So then reboot system. Now, last time I tried doing this, uh, my phone bricked. <laughs> so this time, hopefully it doesn't. I think it might've been because I didn't have the Magisk modules um, disabled, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. So after rebooting now, the installer pop-up should pop up on the top here. So we'll just ignore that for now. And flashing stock boot also removes any custom kernels that you installed. So, all right, so that took like a good minute, maybe two minutes to boot up. And so now you should see a notification up here. So you can just ignore that. 
because it'll still be here and we'll just tap that later. What I want to do is go inside Magisk Manager. Then see if everything is okay. Um, yeah, I have a open VPN here, so we need a button here to pop up. So make sure you're connected to the internet. I'll just open the Magisk Manager again. Okay, there we go, perfect. So right now, what we want to do is click on uninstall right here. And you want to do restore images. So this will restore the stock boot image. But we still have root, which is important. So right now, the phone thinks that we're like completely stuck. So we can go ahead and tap the update filer update update file and then click OK. And you'll see a progress bar there at the top. So we'll see if this fails or not. Last time when my phone got bricked, it failed at around 70% or so. So hopefully this time it doesn't. <laughs> All right, so this time it was successful. Now you just want to press here later since we want to install root again. So yeah, the trick here, if you're doing this, is to make sure your Magisk modules are disabled and reboot because last time I did this, they weren't disabled and the update failed and my phone got bricked basically. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. So now we can go back into Magisk and we can install, then click install. And we want to install to inactive slot. So after OTA, since we downloaded the Android 10 update, that's like basic counts as OTA. So do that, press okay. And it'll take some time. All right. So once you see the reboot button here, just press reboot and hopefully everything is fine. And we boot into Android 10. All right, looking good so far. We can see the new logo here that they introduced in Android 10. All right, so that actually took like a good five minutes to boot up after installing. So we'll see how it is. All right, so we can see the Android 10 logo here, or the, all right, so still finishing installing the update. So yeah, so far so good. All right, for some reason they went back to the launcher. I prefer to use my custom launcher. So we'll see if we can get that going. All right, system update successful. If we go into settings. About phone. Yeah, we can see there we updated successfully. We are now in Android 10. That's pretty cool. You can like drag these things around. I think if you tap more, something else happens or something. Don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna try fire up my um, launch. Oh, there we go. So fired up by itself. Not bad. Then we can also check if Magisk is still good to go. We can do a safety net check. And yeah, so now it's all good. With the beta one, I had issues getting the basic integ or the CTS profile. 
uh, getting checked, so now it's fixed, so that's good. Um, so let's see if we can change the navigation. Where would that be? I think it's in display. Um, yeah, system navigation. All right, so we can't, we still can't change it to this one for some reason. I'll figure that out later. There's like some magisk module that we can use, pointed out by somebody in the comments. So I'll look into that. All right, so I'll probably make another video uh, later on after I like, if I could like fix the navigation, stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.